if a school kid walks to you and ask you hey you are working in data science machine learning and ai what is the future scope of machine learning or what is the future scope of this ai industry as a whole what are the areas i should learn more what are the areas i should pay more attention then what will be your answer guys what are the areas you feel is worth our attention since we are a data analyst data scientist data engineer or somebody who is working with data well i have done some research and identified four such areas which i am going to talk in this video welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist let's start guys what is the first area i want to talk about if some of you have heard about cognitive learning right what is cognitive learning guys so let me try explaining you with a simple you know one two liners so how traditionally machine learning works is this is your data this is your model this model has been trained using this data okay and once the model is trained then you ask some question to this and model answers you okay this is your typical machine learning how human behavior is little different from this so human behavior change based on situations based on new information so human response is not very fixed always it may change based on the new information new learning can we combine this machine learning and human intelligence together to make a more powerful system and we call it cognitive learning system this is cognitive learning this is one area that is gaining lot of traction many people are talking about it and this is one area which is worth our attention when i say worth our attention go ahead and read about it try to see some lectures some papers on this and you know have some knowledge on these areas second area guys quantum computing what is quantum computing i had created a shorts video on that also quantum computing is in discussion all over the world now and it is one of the short after field in terms of job in terms of future of data so just to give you a high level understanding of quantum computing guys the way traditionally computers work is in bits now what is bits if you remember from your college or school time 1001 0, this is the way in which con computer processes the information right this is traditional computing now if you talk about quantum computing there is a concept of qubits qubits is different from bits it work at a different level and why qubits are important it is important because it can be very very fast it can process information in a very very fast way so how it will impact the entire data world guys the way in which we train machine learning model the way in which we consume the data the way in which we run various iterations of the learning right if you have a very very powerful system to take care of that then the entire landscape of this you know machine learning data science deep learning artificial intelligence is going to change and hence i am saying quantum computing is one area we should try to learn more about this area okay what is third area guys third area all of you know already uh, most of the things are getting automated right now there are tools in the market which can do feature engineering for you which can suggest you the good model the best model for your use case obviously it can never replace the human intelligence but many things can be done in an automated way so what you and me have to do you and me have to improve our skill and you and me have to get ourselves acquainted with these new solutions how these solutions are working if there are some shortcomings then what are the shortcomings as a human how we can use it and you know make the best use of this that is your automated solutions part fourth area i want to talk about here is how do you make a customized solution for different businesses so if you are working in data science for some years now then you must be realizing by now not one kind of solution or not one approach suits in all kind of requirements right so a new data set can come up with a new challenge 
and the solution which we plan to build may not be sufficient to solve the business problem. So what are the customization you want to do? For example, I am seeing the huge cases where people are doing one level of clustering, then doing a supervised learning, then taking the output of the supervised learning and again doing some kind of analysis. Uh, they are defining features based on some rules and then taking these features and kind of training a deep learning model. So what I am trying to say here is all the machine learning problems and deep learning problems are little different than each other and hence what we need to learn is how to build a tailored solution or customized solution. This is another area where you know we should we should pay attention to how we can tweak our solution to fit to the business needs. So just to tell one more time guys what are the four areas which is worth our attention. The first area is cognitive learning, second area is quantum computing, third area is automated machine learning and deep learning and fourth area is how do you tailor your solution, customized solution. So I'm sure you like this video guys, please give me a thumbs up if yes. Please let me know if I missed something important and drop me a comment. Tell me what are your views on all these areas. I will see you all in the next video guys. Till then wherever you are, stay safe and take care.